Good morning, Hopkinton High School. Good morning, HHS. I'm Chris Pomeroy. This is HHS Today, and we are back for the club's very last episode ever. We've got a ton of awesome segments for you today, so first we'll jump right into a minute with the principal. The last minute with the principal I did with Mr. Bishop was a bit of a letdown with that chess game where you made that illegal move at the end. The bishop takes the king. So I thought, what's one thing that Mr. Bishop can't possibly beat me at? Well, I've been playing piano for 13 years, so there's no way he's going to cheat me out of this one. So let's just see who comes out on top after this match. Okay. Mr. Bishop? Uh, yes. How yes. much? Can I ask you, how much music experience do you have? Music experience? Well, uh, I played the recorder in elementary school. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm just going to have you sign right here. Oh, boy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch and learn. I've had enough. I've had enough. Well played, Mr. Bishop. Well thank, played. Thank you very much. If you would like to challenge Mr. Bishop to something, maybe next year on HHS TV, then you can send an email to either Mr. Bishop or HHSTV at hillers.org. Great job, Mr. Bishop. Thank you. You should have learned from last time. The Bishop always wins. Awesome job, Mr. Bishop. Someday I'll be back, and I will beat you at something. Next, we've got something really cool. We've all been in the classrooms, in the hallways, in the library, but how many of you have seen behind-the-scenes areas of HHS? Check it out. Hi, guys. Today we're here with Ms. Dorin. Uh, we're going to be going around the school looking at some of the places that we haven't seen, like the kitchen, some of the staff room, etc. You excited? Very excited. Can't wait. Very excited. Let's do Very this. Very excited. <laughs> all right, so we're in here in the staff room. Um, Ms. Doran, you want to tell us a little bit about this? This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> if you need magic. any supplies, any at all, we've got pencils. We've got pencils. We've stickies. We've got stickies. Pens. Pens. Paper. Paper. Who needs a rubber band? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we got it all. Markers, dry erase, you name it, it's here in the staff supply room. Wow. <laughs> Pretty impressive, see right? Notebooks down there. Notebooks, three hole punch. <laughs> Next stop, let's go. Oh. Here we are in the loading bay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've actually never been here. Nor have I. <laughs> this is a new experience for both of us. This is what's over here? <laughs> More. <laughs> we got some uh, fabulous, but we don't need to go in there for you. Ooh, it's scary. It's hot it's in here. Scary. We need to go back in the freezer. <laughs> Mirrors. Larry, look, his name is on it. <laughs> this is Larry's locker, everybody. With a mirror. Right I love it. One and only. <laughs> Larry, nobody like it. We're not going to get locked in, are we? So here we go into the generator. Oh, there's a code. All right. 
And it's drawing. <laughs> oh, Whoa, wow. this is crazy. <laughs> Check this out. Wow. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> Look, Hiller Orange. Yeah, they color-coded it. <laughs> this is cool. Wow. So let's walk down here. Uh, it's like where you see horror movies. Oh, Holy wow, cow. This is, this is gigantic. It's a lot going on. Uh, oh, what's this over here? That looks like the thing from prom. prom? Oh, is that where they store? They put, they put this stuff up here. <laughs> Ooh. Got some boxes. Yeah, boxes of stuff. Wow. We could use a nice little a little cleanup over here. Oh, there's, there's another uh, door over there. We're gonna have to check that out. Here we are. We're here at the entrance to the catwalk. This is honestly my favorite part. I don't know about you, Mr. Ren. Yeah. We're gonna find out <laughs> if excited? I can get up there and get back. <laughs> this is exciting. All right, so we're gonna climb up this ladder and we'll see you at the top. Ta-ta! Ah. So here we are on top of the catwalk. Uh, Woohoo! We just hold all our weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I hope so. That's helps though. Um, yeah, this is this is crazy. Wow. Uh, business as usual. I think we got a hatch here that goes to the roof. Um, <laughs> uh, I think we got some uh, electronics down here. There's nothing in here. <laughs> There's we got Chris. There? Chris, no, what are you so, doing here? <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm I'm just yeah, inspecting the lights up here. Oh, okay. Keep going. Thank this you. is as usual. So we just came down from the catwalk. Uh, that's a great way to end our behind the scenes segment here at Hawkington High School. Thank you, Mr. Rand. It's You're very a, welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure exploring some of the schools. We saw some crazy things today. We saw the, um, let's see, we saw some, the staff storage room. We saw the Larry's room. The freezer. The freezer, the kitchen was pretty cool. The, gen the generator room was a huge surprise that for us. That was a highlight. We, that, that was definitely a highlight. This catwalk. Right up there. Right up, right up there. And best thing, best experience I've had at high school. So, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, yep, sorry. All right, so. That's it for us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Ta ta! Ta ta! You graduated, leave. <laughs> this well, we're is trying. sterling. <laughs> Bet you've never seen those areas of the high school before. Next, we've got a little game. It's called a Google Duel. Hey, Google, what's a Google Duel? According to Wikipedia, a doodle is a drawing made while a person's attention is otherwise occupied. Um, it's, it's basically. Why don't I just show you? Mrs. Brayer versus Mrs. Ella. Google Duel. The object of the game is to get Google Assistant to say a given word that I give you without saying the word in your command. If you get stuck on a word, just say next, I'll give you the next word. All right, let's do a practice round. Okay. Mrs. Brayer, the word is Mars. Okay, Google, what is the red planet? According to Wikipedia, Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. Hey, okay. Ms. Elm, mm -hmm. where is M&M's? Okay. Okay, Google. What kind of candy does Mars manufacture? According to Wikipedia, Mars is a company known for the confectionery items that it creates, such as Mars bars, Milky Way bars, M&M's, Skittles, <laughs> Yay. Snickers, and Twix. There you go. Round one. Okay, Google. Set the timer for 60 seconds. All right, one minute, starting now. George Washington. Okay, Google, who was the first president of the United States? George Washington was the first oh. president of the United okay, States. Okay, Google. Um, yeah, okay, Google. <laughs> Pass. Boston. Are uh, you Star Wars. <laughs> okay, Google. Um, what movie is Han Solo in? Here are some showtimes nearby. If you okay, choose Google. one, we can see about the tickets. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Who, who, dry, who flies the Millennium Falcon? Sorry, I'm having trouble. Donald Feel Trump. free to try again later. Donald Trump. Okay, Google. Who is the President of the United States? 
The president of the United States of America is Donald Trump. Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, Google. What famous bridge is in, ta in San Francisco? According to Wikipedia, the Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge spanning the Golden Gate, the one mile wide straight connecting San Francisco. That was three. Okay, Google. Please set a timer for 60 seconds. Okay, one minute Seven starting minutes. now. Okay, Google. Who sings There's Nothing Holding Me Back? There's Nothing Holding Me Back was recorded by Sean Mendes. Okay, Google. Pass. Uh, Zamboni. Okay, Google. What do you use to clean the ice in an ice rink? No, it's thinking. It's thinking. <laughs> I mean, that's like a, isn't there only one thing? Yeah. What was she? John Lennon. Okay, Google. Who sings Let It Be? Is the Beatles? Let It Be is an album by the Beatles. Oh, okay, be, no. <laughs> okay, Google. <laughs> okay, Beatles. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Google. Who was married to Yoko Ono? Okay. Okay, Google. Who was married to Yoko Ono? Yoko Ono was married to John Lennon, oh. Anthony Cox, and Toshi Ichinagi. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, that's good. Did I get two? Yeah, yeah two. Cool. Two. She won. Three. Oh, way. <laughs> Yay, Mrs. Breyer. It's a hollow victory, let me tell you. No, it isn't. <laughs> Miss Breyer's retiring this year, so resident HHS TV producer David Antecki made a video for her. It's 30 minutes long, so we'll give you the good parts. I'll sail the world to find you. Miss Breyer, I have a question. What is 2 plus 2? Is this a math question? Miss Breyer, is it Yanni or Laurel? It's Yanni. No, actually, it's Laurel. <laughs> Sounds like Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Breyer? What's our homework? The persuasive speeches. Mrs. Breyer, what is the derivative of FLN? None. Mrs. Breyer, who is Tatuba? She's a real woman. Ooh, Mrs. Breyer, do you like our class? No. <laughs> Mrs. Breyer, who is John Proctor? She's a woman. Janie Crawford, and their eyes are watching God. Do we need paragraphs? Do I have to read? Mrs. Breyer, Mrs. Breyer, how many characters do we need in this essay, including spaces? None. Good luck, Miss Breyer, and we'll see you in Aruba. Well, that's what we've got for you this week. There's no have you seen this since, well, we're done here, so I'd just like to say thank you and that it's been an awesome couple of years and on behalf of everyone here at the HHS TV Club, I'm Chris Pomeroy and we'll see you next time. Hey Google, let's play the game Mad Libs. Awesome, it's story time. Pacifier. I can't find your Wi-Fi network. I can't find blue. Grammarly. Glasses. 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 Rezo. Music is the soul of the pacifier, said Pluto. Music is music is music, said Rap. I can't find your Wi-Fi network. I'd be cool. <laughs> These two blue philosophers were right on. When the beat is right, who among us hasn't felt the Grammarly urge to snap his or her glasses or stomp his or her glasses or break out in a glasses, Matt Clark? There's no denying that music, whether it's a classical prezzo by Beethoven or a contemporary I can't find your Wi-Fi network by the Backstreet Yo I'm starving right now, is a yo-yo influence on our daily paid lasagna. Music does indeed suit the savage, but I did I. <laughs> <laughs>